Hey guys, really excited. This is just a haul video. We're in my bathroom, so if the sound quality sucks, I'm really sorry. Um, but this is a haul of everything I've bought, picked out, and was gifted this weekend when we went to Freeze. And I'm so excited to share it all with you because I feel like it's so fun. I'm going to start with accessories and books before I move towards the clothes because there is so many pieces of vintage clothing. I'm so excited. Um, first, I have these two books right here, okay? I can't show you the covers of them because they're a gift for Merritt for his birthday. I can't show you the covers of them. I can't tell you what it's about, but I just know when his birthday comes around, I will be posting these on my Instagram story. They're so cute. They're so fun. I'm so excited I found them. I think I got them both for $7, but I think one day in his office when he's working, these will be essential pieces to like the decor or his home office, honestly. Um, this book I got for myself, Vogue Dolls and Toys. Okay, now I'm going to take the cover off of it when I use it because somebody took excellent care of this book. Let me see if you can see the Vogue imprinted into it. Maybe not, but it's gorgeous. It's white. It's fun. I have a book about like Princess Diana and Audrey Hepburn and some golf and Volkswagen coffee table books. So I'm excited to put this one with it. I feel like they'll flow really well. Next, let me find my hats. Okay, first I got this Fram Motorsports hat. It's a little snapback trucker hat. It's so fun. I like that it's rainbow. It makes it feel like it can be an everyday piece in my wardrobe. And then next I got this blue like turquoise hat with the red and gold embroidery on it and this piece is just different i feel like it's very much a statement piece so it's kind of fun to just have those like lying around to throw in randomly um and that was kind of it for that section it's not really a ton of stuff that's kind of why i wanted to do it first here's where it gets fun here's where we go through the vintage clothes okay finally starting with clothes i'm excited I'm gonna start with the ones I bought first and then picked out and then gifted. Okay, first, um, my boyfriend's family does a big 4th of July celebration at their farm and freeze. And I thought it would be perfect. I have this little striped red, white, and blue shirt and it's got like sleeves because it is in the mountains and it's got like almost a handkerchief style flowy little bottom it's not too handkerchief which I like because if it's like a massive handkerchief on the side it makes me really mad I don't like to wear really long fabric as a shorter person I feel like it makes me look bad um <laughs> next I got this blue trench coat okay it's really fun it's long gorgeous I like the button details and these pockets okay these pockets are so fun because it's like a big pocket but then there's this little flap detail on the outside which is so cute um next i like basic little like t-shirt style shirts for the winter because i like to layer so i found this ralph lauren little t-shirt and it's got this little suede and zipper detail but then to match that it has suede little elbow patches I feel like that's precious it's so fun like such a fun piece to layer with in the winter um and last for what i bought i haven't tried this dress on yet and i'm really hoping it's gonna fit me it's oh not my size it's a little bit big but i'm thinking maybe because it's vintage it'll be smaller but it has like a cow neck and it's got this lace cami built into it so it has the lace detail so it's cow lace detail the bottom it's kind of handkerchiefy. It's got sequin detailing and like beaded detailing through the dress on the flowers. And I thought this would be really fun for like a date night with Merit. And it's just giving Carrie Bradshaw in the best way. So it's really exciting to me. <laughs> I love Sex in the City. It's my favorite show. I used to think I was such a Carrie. And then I realized like how poor her decisions were. And I'm like, Okay, maybe I'm I'm just a better version of Carrie. Like, I'm just as well-dressed. Not right now. 
I'm just as well dressed normally and I just don't make poor decisions like that in my life anymore. I'm not a garbage human. Um, okay, where do I start? This is stuff that I picked out. It's from my boyfriend's grandmother's closet. Literally like thrift shop song, I wear your grandpa's clothes. First, this is my favorite piece and it's a blazer. There are a lot of blazers in this. I hope you can see it really well. It's like purple flower prints and it's purples and blues and then it's got this cute little button detail it's kind of shiny but it's got like little cut out spots on it maybe it'll focus come on focus is it there we go yay exciting okay so that's piece number one this is piece number two. It is also a jacket, but I'm wondering if I can sew it up to be a dress and then wear it with like a really big belt across the middle. A lot of this is going to be like a fun sewing project for me, which I'm really excited about because I want to be more into sewing. I feel like it'll be a good thing for me to get into and like practice at. Next is this jacket. This is another jacket and it has a matching skirt. I actually found the skirt before I found the jacket. The, like, material is, like, almost cream with, like, metallic, like, pink flowers and white embroidery, like, when it hits the light, which is fun. I think you can see it really well. Um, and then it has the jacket. The buttons on the jacket are the exact same fabric, too, which is so cool because one's pink and then the other one's white. I don't know. I feel like if it's shortened... Like, if I shortened the skirt to go with the jacket, you can't really see it too great. But if I shortened the skirt, the maxi skirt, to go with this jacket and, like, made it a little bitty set, it would really serve. Okay. Like, hate to tell y'all, but it would. Next, this shirt just made me think of, like, when you walk into the office in the 90s and there's, like, that one girl in, like, the movie. She's blonde. She's got, like, a blowout. She's tan. She's gorgeous. She's wearing this blouse, okay? She's wearing this blouse. It has these big, like, sleeves with shoulder pads. And it's got this skinny little cuff right here, okay? And it's, like, tucked in to, like, some black. Oh, it's recording. I'm dumb. As I was saying, that shirt would be tucked into some black, like, dress pants, trousers, and it would serve so hard okay next is another like work blouse shoulder pads again of course and it's got this really cool like neck detail which i think will be fun like a hair up moment and these like ruffles in the blouse super great okay blazer has like little white flowers on it fun soft lightweight super breezy I'm trying to figure out how I can style this to wear at like an interview I have to do at school. Okay, I'm going to show these together because they're very similar. They're little like sweater style t-shirts. They have like the little neck detail and then they're cuffed on the sleeve. Like both of them have little cuffs on the sleeve. As I said before, I love to layer my clothes in the winter and I think little t-shirts like that are essential. So when I saw these that were patterned with the cuff detail, it made me think of Princess Diana and it made me get really excited and I snagged them. Okay, next is this pink blazer. My boyfriend said this was his favorite thing that I like picked out of the collection and I was kind of surprised because it's not like anything crazy, it's just some pink. Like, it doesn't have, like, crazy buttons either. It's just pink. Um, my, I picked this out to go with something my boyfriend's mom picked out for me and gave me. This is a jacket, okay? And this is what she gave me. The skirt that matched. And then I found the jacket. So now I have a set. Once again, I'm thinking, like, maybe I shorten it. Do something fun with it. Okay. And this is the last thing for this haul video, y'all. Get your hands together and ready to clap because what I'm about to show you is amazing. My boyfriend, his mother, love her to death, gave me her fur coat from when she was in middle school to like high school, okay? It's rabbit fur 
And the rule is that your fur coat is supposed to match your hair, if you didn't know. So I have like a dark fur coat that matches my hair. My great aunt gave it to me. This one is red rabbit fur and it matches my boyfriend's mom's hair. And all these people are gonna get mad at me for talking about the fact that I have two fur coats. These were gifts. I didn't go out and buy the fur. I didn't choose to kill the animal. But if it's a vintage fur coat and somebody's gonna give it to me, I'm not gonna let it go to waste. I'm not gonna be like, that animal died for nothing. So here it is. And I like it because it is more of like a sporty look. It has like an elastic waist in the bottom and it zips. So I feel like this would be really cute. I was telling my boyfriend like some fun colored Adidas shoes, some jean shorts or white shorts, and like a little hat. And I feel like it'll be fun for spring going into winter or in the fall. I'm really excited. It's shedding though. I have to figure out how to combat that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video. That was all for my haul. I hope you enjoyed. I tried to talk fast and get through everything super fast and not give a ton of details so you wouldn't get bored. So let me know what you thought. I hope you subscribe, like, and comment. And love you.